Tanchella, why in God's name are you interrupting our introduction? Hmm. Tangella is upset because there are almost nearly a million of you watching our program, but only 40,000 some odd number of you who have bothered to subscribe to our channel by pressing the little button down below. Oh, really? This makes Tangella somewhat rather both angry and sad because it is your subscriptions that tell YouTube Incorporated that we are a program worth financially supporting. With your subscription, we'll eventually make enough money to pay for the production so we can continue producing this show. If you like our show, please subscribe right now. You'll make me happy, you'll make Tangella happy, and you'll spend the rest of the day knowing you did your part to keep Creature Features alive. Push that subscribe button now, and thank you. How, how is that? Can we resume the program now? And I feel fine. Welcome to Creature Features. I am Vincent, this is Tangella, and that is Livingston. Tonight we shall present for your viewing pleasure an epic cinematic gem from 1955, created by the wonderful Roger Corman, which stars Richard Denning and Laurie Nelson. Entitled The Day the World Ended, the film's story centers around a heroic scientist who, with a small band of other brave survivors, faces off against a mutant monster following an atomic war that appears to have destroyed human civilization. It's the perfect feature with a creature that a show with a moniker like Creature Features should feature more often. It is neither epic nor perfect in any sense of those words. Oh nonsense, you cynical old goat! This film was so well regarded that Larry Buchanan remade it in color in 1967. Yes, in the year 2889. We've shown it, and if I recall correctly, your viewers did not like it. Oh, cod swallow. In fact, one viewer wrote in to comment that it was, quote, the stinkiest load of cattle manure ever served upon your unsuspecting viewers, end quote. Yes, I vividly recall that retort. I also seem to remember that this was the same bloke who was utterly convinced that the knife-wielding doll in Trilogy of Terror was an underpaid Hungarian circus midget named Bobo. Interesting. Tangela gleefully remembers once when she was young having a pet badger named Bobo. She once brought it to class for show and tell and the vicious little beast escaped from its cage and proceeded to gnaw upon the majority of her classmates whom were all compelled to endure tetanus shots as well as prolonged and painful treatment for rabies. That is quite a lovely and touching tale, lass. Onward. Joining us for this jollification of Armageddon will be the artist known as Skinner. He creates amazing monster art that appears on shirts, posters and even toys. He also runs the most entertaining YouTube channel where he has fun with his guests and his viewers as he showcases the technique involved in some of his work. 
He'll show us some of his stuff, give us his take on this film, and quite possibly explain in great detail to Livingston why his opinion about monster movies makes him look naive and glib. So don't go away, for it shall be another night of monster-centric fright, right here on Creature Features. Stay tuned. Portions of Creature Features are brought to you by The Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California. Explore the mystery at winchestermysteryhouse.com. It's that time of the week. You know what time of the week it is, right? Time for to get haunted and drink bad milk. Yes, no, and it's the Skinner Show because we've got Mr. Skinner on. He's he's an artist, uh, but Creature Features. It's Creature Features night. The Creature Features is legendary. I'm very excited no, to be here. It is, and we're very excited to have you here as well. Thank you. But uh, tonight we're going to have Mr. Skinner. We're going to talk about your art, okay, and other things that you do, mm -hmm. like you play chess as well, right? <laughs> No, no I wish. neither do I. You know, Chinese people think, checkers. No, people, people think because I'm British, I play chess. You know, kings, queens, all that. No. I've, I've never played one game in my entire life. I don't even know how the game is played. I prefer checkers. Yeah, I like Regular checkers too. Checkers. Immediate, just immediately, yeah. Uh, yeah. you know. It, it's easier to beat children with that's, checkers that's, than chess. He's right, you know. <laughs> he's right. So you're an artist, and mm -hmm. we're going to talk all about your work. Okay. But uh, first, let's talk about this film, The Day the World Ended. Have you seen it yet? Uh, I haven't seen it, but I read about it so that I wouldn't look like an idiot. No, no, no. You will not look like an idiot. That's Can my job. Can I watch job. it now? That's my job. <laughs> However, no, no, no. It's good that you do not watch it. You know, it, we give people the option to see the film before so that they can... Yeah. It's usually so people don't become frightened. Well, I, I, uh, I did. Well, the thing is, is that um, t t uh, I don't spend a lot of time watching films. I'll put them on in the background while I'm illustrating. Oh, that's nice. So I don't, I can't really take credit for watching it, but I went ahead and researched it. And Roger Corman, who's like a saint of a person, right. an absolutely legendary creative person who gave a lot of... Um, wild imaginative individuals opportunities to expand as creators and went on to affect hollywood That's and make right, monster right. films including uh, what's his what's his head uh, jack nicholson yeah jack nicholson jack nicholson's <laughs> one of his first films was a roger corman film that was the uh one oh god what was it he's like running was around he's running around freaking everybody out <laughs> the 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 one where no he no. was like a french soldier right and he was and he jack was nicholson the terror. The terror, yeah. The terror. Yeah. Which uh, I just Googled uh, the Jack Nicholson monster the other day from The Witches of Eastwick. Did you ever right. see the weird little creature that he turned I into? I did, yes. <laughs> it's no, like I, an evil turnip. No, I love that film. I do. that film is amazing. I, you know, I wish we could show it, but we, we don't have the budget. I know. No. And then probably Jack Nicholson would not come on the show either, so it would be terrible. <laughs> All right, Dude. what do you say we start the film? Okay. And when we come back, we're going to take a peek at some of your art, right? Amazing. So Sounds people know what you do. He's, he's talented. Trust me. I know these things. Anyway, so you stay there. You guys stay there. And I'm, uh, I'm here for the night. So uh, let's start the film right about now. Welcome back to the show. If you're just joining us, you're quite a bit late. How do you deal with late people? Uh, well, I don't know. I just assume they don't have like the same kind of anxiety I do. Is that I, it? I just go, oh, you're probably more mentally well than me. Because so. oh, if right. you can no, allow that's... yourself to be late, that means you're feeling comfortable. 
That's that's a, that's a unique <laughs> perspective. No, I, I like it. That's a quite a unique perspective. Anyways, uh, welcome both late people and non-late people. Uh, if you're just joining us, we are watching The Day the World Ended, 1955, with Mr. Skinner, the artist formerly known as Skinner yeah. and currently known as Skinner. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, we, we need to chat about how you came up with that name, but yeah, I, I'm yeah. beginning to suspect I know why based on this. Okay. But uh, first, let's chat about this film. So mm -hmm. everyone in the world is dead, right. except for these people in this little tiny valley because of some special metallic materials. Yeah, a lead, a lead bowl, a, bear, a, lead, a lead barren bowl. area, which what? is weird because you escaped nuclear war to go die from lead poisoning. That would be an is issue as well. And, you know, I was thinking uh, the biggest danger is fallout. And that comes from above. I think the biggest right? danger is fallout or uh, who do you end up with? Uh, that's, who who no. do you end up with? Oh, my you goodness. Because, uh, you know, I watch these old movies and I'm like, I wouldn't mind these people. It's like the monster energy drink, you know, right, tweaker right. people that you went to high school with, you got to worry about. Oh, no, that's true. Or, no, what if this happened while you were at work? Uh huh. Imagine spending the rest of eternity with your boss. Oh, dude, immediate kill. That'd and be, eat. Right, right. Yeah, zombie time. Feast. All right, speaking of zombies, <laughs> yeah. now, this is yours. Yes, it is. So you're a comic book artist as well. Mm, yeah. And very colorful cover, mm -hmm. yet when I open it up, mm. it's like. I have a monochrome television again. Yeah, you need to look at this one. That's the classic outlaw style one. This is the color one. You got to get it. Oh, that. is yeah. it? Is yeah. is there some indication? Uh, I no, there's no indication. Oh. I like to just befuddle it's like a and surprise. confuse All you, right, Vincent. So I open this up, and <laughs> oh, I'm in a world of color. There you look, go. Look, this is gorgeous. That's right. So uh, your your artwork jumps into your face. Yes. and wipes itself all over your face and yeah. uh, in, a, in a delightful way. <laughs> no, no, an absolutely Dude, delightful that's way. that's great. I, I've never seen artwork like this, and I'm beginning to understand why you go by Skinner because most of the characters in your comics have bad skin. Yeah. It's, right? Um, that's a, it's more that's fun you, to draw them like right? that. <laughs> yeah, like little warts and stuff. No, this Come is gorgeous. On. Yet, look, he draws a cat almost perfectly, like... Uh, the way a cat would appear. Beautiful cat. But when he draws a human, uh -huh. he, the yeah. human typically has bad skin. Well, people are eyes. just, you know, they're hideous to me. I like cats. I you like know, animals. I was going to say, there's some kind of psychological Yeah, there's thing. deep psychological And analysts issues. would have a, a good time with you on this. <laughs> oh, they do. There this is, is absolutely gorgeous. So how many of these have you made? This is the first one. Right. And I'm working right now. Uh, currently, I'm laying out the second issue, which is 92 pages. Which How many is this, this one? This one's only 64. My so goodness. it's going to be bigger, yeah. Same story continues. No, this is an anthology, a uh, horror anthology film. Right. I mean, a uh, uh, comic. It could be a film, though. Oh, since, yeah, that's the... Since I you guess put it as a comic, it could be a film, right? Yeah, it's going to be a film for sure. Oh, that's wonderful. So you're <laughs> going to do number two. So you're working on number two. Yeah, number two is almost issue finished. Issue number one And then October. I'm working on issue three. And then I have a podcast, a Skin Crawl audio drama podcast that... I'm related working, to this. I'm, yeah, that's coming oh, out from yeah. bloodydisgusting.com. They have like a podcast. How uh, wonderful. Yeah. I, I hear good things about them. Yeah, wonderful. yeah. Well, speaking of bloody disgusting, what do you say we get back to this film? Yes, let's And do then it. Uh, find out what happens next, right? Absolutely. All right. Uh, we will be back after the next break uh, for more art from Skinner. But in the meantime, let's get back to the day the world ended, which was 1955. Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat, making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best. Welcome back to the show. Uh, we'll get back to the day the world ended in a moment, and uh, we'll get back to Mr. Skinner as well. But we're going to do letters because uh, we we have letters. Someone we have actual mail that came in the in the post. So came with the post. It came in the post. All right. What do you got first for me, Mr. Livingston? A little small letter from Vancouver, British Columbia. 
Vancouver, BC, and this is from Steve Richards, right? This is tight. It's like an invitation. Oh, with money. He did not send me Canadian money. No, he must have had to go and exchange. There's ten dollars and five dollars American dollars. Keep that would be fifteen. Fifteen dollars. All right. Uh, dear creature features. Hiya. It's always nice to discover gems for the first time. Such was the case with Target Earth and Zombies of Moratau. Great stuff. Well done, team. Did you receive the copy of Soccer Munch? What in God's name is a Soccer Munch? I'm not sure. No, I, I don't think I did. But if I did, I'm sure it's wonderful. I think it was a comic. A comic? Graphic novel, as they call them now. Oh, all right. I don't know. I uh, hope you like it. Enclosed is $15. Can you send me an autograph photo of yourselves? Yes. $15. We'll do it for $15, right? Immediately. Immediately. Keep, 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 keeping on. Steve Richards and uh, his address, which I will not read over the air. Well, wonderful. Thank you for the notes and the cash, Steve. And uh, hope things are nice up north. Next up, Mr. Livingston. From Western Massachusetts. Western Massachusetts. All right. Sam Sneed. We've heard from Sam before. Have we? That's, that's a name you don't forget. It's a, it's a British name. It was a famous golfer, actually. Was it? Yes. All right. I, w I wonder if Sam plays golf as well. All right. Dear Vincent Van Dahl, Tangela, and Mr. Livingston, and Andrew, I... Entered a search on YouTube for painting tips, and your show topped the list of recommendations. Painting tips? Not sure. I watched several episodes to see if you had any relevant information about using masking tape effectively. I can never seem to get nice crisp lines when I paint. You know, this, this letter should have gone to Skinner, not to us. I, I wonder if he's confused. And oh. he knew Skinner was going to be on the show, so he decided to send us painting questions intended for Skinner. You we'll mean he's clairvoyant? This. I don't know. However, not one of the movies you showed had any relevant information. I'm mystified why YouTube's algorithms recommended your show. It seems your shows have nothing to do with do-it-yourself projects. However, I must admit, I very much enjoyed six movies that I watched. They reminded me of the spookyish movies I watched as a kid when there was only five channels. He was lucky. We only had three. No, he had five channels when he was growing up. No personal computers and phones had rotary dials. I will watch more of them soon as I finish painting the kitchen and living room. Keep up the good work and keep Tangella on a short leash. She seems dangerous. You have no idea. No. As Kipling said, the female of the species is more deadly than the male. But they often say the male is more attractive. That's what I heard. All right, last time. Oh, it's a package. It is a package. Oh, I remember this one. I've seen this one already. Jolly Old England. Jolly Old England. All right. So give me this. And then I'm going to pass this over to the young lady to be our version of Vanna White. Be careful of it. We should call her Vanna Black. Vanna Black. That's what Black. she is, right? Isn't that nice? She hasn't seen it yet, has she? All right. Uh, let me read some of this before we present. Uh, dear Vincent Tangella, Livingston, and Andrew. Hope you are well. This is from Robert Perry King. That's a hyphenated name. You, you see those all over the UK. You never see them here unless it's like a married woman. Mm. All right. He goes, uh, hope you are well. Thank you for all the imaginative entertainment and wonderful presentation of misbegotten movies. That's what we do here, right? Misbegotten movies. We present misbegotten movies that you and your studio so thoroughly, thoughtfully provide. You have been and continue to be an inspiration to me, and as such, I've produced this one-off image depicting some stylized cartoon counterparts. That is amazing. This colorful paper collage was designed and drawn by me, depicting Vincent, Mr. Livingston, Tangela, Andrew, and the ghost and uh, caricatures. Yep, see the ghost right there. Ghost. I uh, hope you receive this image with as much fun Octopus. and sincerity as with the initial intent. Please keep your spirited entertainment endeavors as they are comfort to many, myself included. Good fortune, soul. S sincerely, Robert Perry King. He's in, uh, he's in Nottingham. Nottingham. Well, you know, only uh, artistic people live in Nottingham. Look at this. Is this amazing? We're going to put a big one up on the screen. And good football players. Oh, he, he even put an octopus. She likes the octopi. Uh, you look like you like it. It's... All right. Now, what do you like most about it? 
the way you were depicted. How's that? He made you look like a toad. Well, I, I do look like a toad. I mean, it, it's accurate, right? This man. I tell you, I don't know why I put up with him. Thank you so much for the wonderful art. And, uh, you know, if you can't notice on the, the telly, but it's all hand cut. It's, it's just pieces of paper cut to make this art. It's amazing. It's like well, South Park characters. Like South Park characters, exactly. All right, is that it? That's it. That's it for mail. If you'd like to send us mail of your own by email, send it to this email address floating over on this side. Or if you'd like to send a wonderful piece of cut out art over the post, Send it to this address down here. We'll be right back with Skinner soon, but first let's get back to the day the world ended. This portion of Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeaturesStore.com the official merchandiser of Creature Feature Accessories. Who does your monster's hair? Oh. Edward Scissorhands or uh, oh, Sweeney no. Todd or something. Oh, I need somebody like that to do mine. I, I'm having a bad head. Day. Welcome back to the show. We are watching The Day the World Ended with Mr. Skinner, the artist, who apparently makes masks as well. Yeah, I make monster masks. Let this is uh, rock bottom novelties. They, they take my designs and then they make crazy old school so masks. So you simply send them a, 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 a drawing. <laughs> oh, yeah, I get away with a lot because I just... I send the drawings and then they make the stuff and then like I don't have to, you know, I just Doesn't, like hold you know, it and I look I would think cool. you'd have to send them like a 3D thing. Well, I think that um, they all have these like their own, you know, incredible skill to be able to sculpt right. and stuff. And right. I like to give my collaborators like a lot of room to, you know, be free to do their thing um, is, as long as it's, you know. Do you do wear this like during the day? No, I, I, I have would, like a I would wear this every day. I would go to the bank. You, with this, yeah. well, yes, I would I go to the know. bank without it in my head, and I, I would, like, make a withdrawal. Have you done that before? No. <laughs> I don't know, man. You should wear a bulletproof vest. You, you oh, no. All right. Yeah, you, security, right? They might think I'm trying to. Yeah. Uh, right. They might yeah, think you're yeah, in. Um, not good. So uh, <laughs> the film, they're, they're running out of food already. <laughs> this, this man was prepared for the nuclear holocaust, and, mm -hmm. oh, I did not buy enough food. Well, I think that after a nuclear holocaust, it's just everything is a rotisserie chicken all around you. People, animals, One everything. You can eat whatever. Right, no, right. It seems yeah. easy. No, yeah, all right. So uh, <laughs> we haven't seen the monster yet, but uh, if I remember correctly, the monster looks a lot like this guy. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, actually it kind of does. Right. Like right. this mixed with a rotisserie chicken. That would be, that would be, you should make a comic about rotisserie chickens. <laughs> no, it's like the revenge of the rotisserie chickens, the ones that were not purchased. The ones yeah. that were eaten, they're fine. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, don't you ever go to like a delicatessen or a, a supermarket and you see these chickens in mm. the rotisserie, you know no one's going to buy them. Yeah. And you think to yourself, oh, that poor chicken died for nothing. I know it is. It's sad. Well, right. Hopefully, yeah. we'll, we'll go dumpster diving no. after. No, I, I, brought, I brought it up. I brought it up with one grocer. And he told me, no, we take them down, we make chicken salad the next day. Okay. So, so that salad's kind of, it's kind of tough and chewy. It's like jerky, mm -hmm. jerky salad. Jerky salad would be delicious. Beef jerky salad. In a post-nuclear world, everything is delicious. So you make masks, you make other <laughs> things. We're going to talk about them in the moment. Okay. But uh, what do you say we get back to this film? I can't wait. And hopefully see the monster. I want to. Maybe. We know. Well, we'll see. See you soon. Hello, Vincent. My name is Betty, and I'm in Missouri, and I just love to watch Creature Features. The only request I have is if you could please play Creature from the Black Lagoon. I haven't seen that since I was a little girl. Thank you so much, and again, you're my favorite.
Welcome back to Creature Features. We're still enduring the day the world ended <laughs> with uh, Mr. Skinner. Yeah, mutants. They're now running into mutants. Mutants, the uninvited guest. They, uh, you know, I have some friends that uh, they could be mutants. I mean, mm -hmm. technically. Yeah, yeah they, there's definitely they, there's some social mutants. They out have there. skin. <laughs> they have skinish issues like your friend here. Yeah. So you created this. Yes, I created this. This is a monstrous action figure that I produced, uh, or uh, my friends uh, Unbox Industries produced for me. They do a lot of like very extravagant monster creations. What is Morbs? Morbs. Morbs. So Morbs is a term, an English term, uh, like a like sort of a, a mild case of depression. Oh, morbs. like the morbids. A case of the morbs, they right, say. All right, all right. And yeah, um, and I, I this term. he's a character from my next comic, actually, um, that uh, emerges out of a dungeon, and it's uh, it's sort of an existential character, right? You know, a little bit. Um, who uh, I I have the adventure of morbs uh, coming into his own and leaving this dungeon to go out into the world, but it's also in tandem with. Uh, Carl Jung's um, uh, A Warning to the World, which is about Carl Jung's shadow work. It's his essay on that right, stuff. Right. So it's a little bit heady. I'm not, I'm not that, you know, I'm not, I'm no, I'm no academic or nothing, but I did think it was an interesting um, uh, way to caption a story right. about a character grappling with their darkness and then now, emerging. You're, you're creating monster characters for, for a budding young industry of psychiatrists. Yeah, yeah, for um, internet people. Unions. <laughs> uh, yeah, some union psychologists are going to be like, oh, we've got to get one of these. Yeah. yeah. This is all people. This right? is, yeah, this is like the psychiatrist goes, you know, here's a toy. Hopefully this, right. uh, you right. relate to this. Right. I may be beautiful on the outside, but this is what I look like on the inside. Yeah. Uh, that on, kind of thing. On the inside, right. it's a labyrinth of confusion. So, so the whole toy thing, I mean, is it like... Is there money in making toys like this? Yeah, I mean, it kind of depends on how much time and energy you want to put into any kind of niche, you know, like, right. like you know, kind of career. But um, there really is because, you know, a long time ago, the only way that you could really produce toys would be if you're a giant company. Right. And now that it's, it's been sort of democratized in a lot of ways. And um, That's amazing. Yeah, That's it's incredible. cool. incredible. Yeah, and it's interesting because very strange creative people are able to access this as an outlet for their, their ideas. Well, you so know, we're cool. very strange creative people, yeah. and I, I think we should make some, some of these of us. Yeah, no problem. Right? We'll, we'll yeah, do it. Yeah, just... <laughs> There's somebody in a basement waiting for the job. And there's somebody in the basement <laughs> waiting to buy one. Exactly. No, exactly. No, I, I, I know we could sell at least 15 Tangella dolls. I know that Maybe we got. 20. There's at least that many mutants who will buy that. That many? Well, that's, you know, that's a high note. And that's the way we should go back to the movie. Yes. On a high note about mutants. So uh, let's get back to this film. And then uh, when we come back, we've got another piece of art of nope. yours. To yeah. Show. Right? Right. Absolutely. All right. Off we go back to the day the world ended. And hopefully. The day will come soon when this movie ends. See you soon. Hello, this is Mr. Livingston. It would appear I have been tasked with requesting you to help our show financially by visiting our patron page. Your generosity will help us keep Creature Features on the air. With only a few dollars a month from you, your kindness will allow us to continue creating new entertainment for your viewing pleasure each and every week. And if you have the desire to give more, you might even receive a gift from Tangela. I think not. Please visit the website below to learn more. Thank you.
Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeaturesStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. You know, you, you, you make a rather wonderful picture frame. Yeah, I'm good at I'm a good at this. No, I'm less should, expensive you, than you I. should do a thing <laughs> where you 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 sell a, mm. one of your pieces of art like this for a very high price, okay. and you volunteer to stand in the person's home. Hold yeah. it like that. There's probably people that would pay me not to do that. All right. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. We are watching the day the world ended with Mr. Skinner, and he he made this. He actually. Took his hand in a brush, yeah. I take it, right? Yes, it was hand a to brush. Yep. You can put that down. We're going to put a big one up so people okay. can see it close. It's, it was a uh, giant painting that I did, and this is a silkscreen recreation of it. So it's a four color um, sc uh, screen print style. So um, when you do that process, it's it's f like you're going to put on a shirt, right? Yeah, you can put on a shirt or on a print or right. whatever you want. Right. Yeah, but you take a photo of the painting. You have to make it nice. Right. And then you run it through the internets and the, you get these mutants to things. squeegee it. Oh, right. No, yeah. I've seen that process. It's, mm -hmm. it's complicated. So, uh, you know, that's, that brings up a good yeah. uh, question. You're not going to go the digital route. You're purely media. Oh, no, I do real. digital so stuff, you do digital. too. Oh, yeah, there's, right. I mean, because if you are trying to hustle as an artist in the world, there's a million different kinds of things that you could do, and there's a million different kinds of ways to get paid, and you have to adhere to all of it, and you have to of deal course. with all of it. Right, so, right. you know what I mean? I don't want to, um, I don't want to not learn something if it's going to inhibit me from being able to grow as an artist or to get rich and so I could live in a mansion like this. I want to live. Oh, you don't here. want to live in a mansion like this. I like yeah. it because it's I mean, I, a big scary. house maybe, but not this, this. No, there's things in this place. Ungodly terrible, things. Terrible uh, things. Aside from Tangella, there's, there's things that, that go bump in the night. And there's photos of old people that look like they drank bad milk from no, 300 years no, ago that, <laughs> you, no he's he, he he did have a skin condition as as is often pointed out in your art yeah but uh, no 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 no. so if you get a mansion you uh. should you should get one in bel-air yeah right no i had a mansion in bel-air no I did. I, you did I did it was quite nice it was it was it was more of a more of a like a uh, spanish style thing you are the rotten prince of bel-air instead of the fresh no i, I never thought it well thought you know my that. band was called prince of darkness so i could have been the prince of darkness of bel-air but that was oh. too long to put on an album cover yeah because yeah. no they said i only had like four inches yeah play. well they, they you double album gatefold all right enough about me let's talk about you <laughs> no, no i want to talk about yeah, you yeah yeah so, what are we talking about <laughs> the artwork digital sure you can right, do it digitally mixed. i love it i mean you so can, what do you use though if you do it digital uh, like, uh, you know, uh, Photoshop or Procreate right. or, uh, but yeah, I mean, it. did you say Procreate? Yeah. Procreate. There's a thing called Procreate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. It's funny. Yeah. That's cool. I've never heard of it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Procreating, um, online and right. digitally right. for, um, the masses for the right. mutants yeah. and right. that's it. But no, I, uh, yeah, digitally, but y you know, there's different, you get a different kind of experience out of different things. Of course. And I, yeah. uh, you know, when I'm at late at night listening to spooky soundtracks and stuff, I want to just work on my, you know, laptop, uh, my iPad drawing on procreate and not you know, worry about brushes and yeah, ink. A paint smell. Yeah, no paint smell. Right, no, no paint I go smell. into the garage to, to, to smell the paint. <laughs> no, that's good. That's a good place to go because that's where most paint is located in the garage, mm, right? A good huffing area, that's yes. That's right, that's right. All right, what do you say we get back to this film, The Day the World Ended? Mm -hmm. And uh, how, 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 how much more of this film do we have to go? This is the end. This is the end. This oh. is the end of the film. And uh, stick around, you people at home, for the credits. Because after the credits of the movie, we're going to have Tangela out here and... Uh, You'll still be here, and you can tell us what you're doing next, right? Oh, yeah. It sounds mm. great. All right. Off we go back to the end of the day the world ended, uh, the, the day the, the movie ended. And uh, when <laughs> we come back, we will see you soon. Bye.
This brief moment of tranquility has been brought to you by Nightscape. Relax and sleep better every single night with this and other videos from our free YouTube channel. Learn more by visiting nightscape.co today. And that brings the coffin lid down on the top of the day, the world. End. What a stupid ending. <laughs> the beginning. Well, I, you, somebody has to live on to supply demand to purchase goods in the future. So, Purchase movie tickets. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I don't hate this movie, but I don't love it. And typically I love most movies. What do you think of the film? You didn't like it, but you like this guy. Well, I, I like movie. the thing that I like is that the monsters at, at this time period were adorable. And you're just like, you know. That you, monster was ridiculous. <laughs> you could have done much better. Yeah. This, this would have been scarier. <laughs> For sure. Than the one in that. that it had thing. shoulder pads or like little like arms. Yeah, those like. are big in the 80s. I even wore those in the 80s. With the little arms on the side. Yeah, of course, yeah. Ozzy Osbourne it. brand right. shoulder pads. No, not him. But <laughs> definitely. No, I had my own fashion store. No, I, I, I sold did? clothes. I did. Los Angeles, uh, you know, I, we need to talk because mm -hmm. we're in similar fields, in a uh, sense. Okay, Not I'm really, ready. But, uh, I can't wait to design shoulder pads. Speaking of design, yeah. what are you working on next? Uh, right now, I am uh, working on a stop-motion horror fantasy film with my oh, friend Ross fun. called Shrine of Abominations. Shrine of Abominations. <laughs> that's, that's what this home is. It is. It's a shrine right. of abominations. Right. I wanted a name that kind of just encapsulated just the entropy of the universe, you know? And, uh, and then I'm working on a, a, a video game um, with my buddy Andy called Flesh Haunted Lords. Flesh Haunted Lords. <laughs> yeah. Everything has to be absolutely yeah, nice. terrible. No, nice. Oh, nice. thanks. And, um, and I'm working on like, a, um, oh, Skin Crawl 2. Skin Crawl 2, the comic. The comic. Right, and, right. And um, I'm in kind of like pre-production idea concept with my friend Philip talking about a movie we want to make called Dungeon Crawl. Dungeon Crawl. Yeah, Dungeon Crawl. My goodness. Like a, Is this like, like a drinking film? <laughs> yeah, you go from right. room to room in a dungeon. Dungeon to dungeon, and drink, right? Yeah, and on you, a holiday. Yeah. Right. No, that sounds like fun. I can't wait for it. How do people learn more? Um, they go to uh, theartofskinner.com. Theartofskinner.com. Uh, my Instagram is the most fun, at uh, theartofskinner. At so. theartofskinner yeah. on Instagram. And yeah. then you can see like more photos. More stuff, stuff more right. videos, more right. process, more concept. It's very much like a day in the life. Here's very this, nice. here's that, here's this. Very yeah, nice. and more illustrations yeah. and, uh, you know, 3D renders, animations, film stuff, um, jokes. Right, you know, <laughs> good. Well, you're a busy, creative man. Yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. I, I expect to see you on the front page of Time magazine soon. Yeah, as as a mutant, as the world's first mutant man, I guess. Mutant artist. Yeah, there you that, go. That could be a new career. Thing. Uh, shoulder pad. That's right. Phenom. Right, right. Perfect. Rules the world now. I like it. I okay. Like it. All right. So thank you so much for coming. Mm -hmm. Next time you're in town, you come by and see us. Yes. And uh, send us something interesting, art wise. I will. And uh, as far as you guys go, uh, thank you for watching our show. I, I, I know they, they could have been watching Saturday Night Live. Yeah, It's the funny show. Have you seen this Saturday Night Live? John yeah. Belushi. <laughs> yeah. It's absolutely wonderful. It's no. one of the funniest men ever. Yeah. Anyways, instead you chose to watch us, and uh, we absolutely love you for that reason. Tune in next week. We're going to have a different guest and uh, a different thing. We've got the animal person coming next week, right? No, no, we've got oh. a person. She's got animals, like wild, crazy Oh, cool. Like, Crazier you know, than she, this yarn poltergeist No, thing. no, no. She loves animals. She loves the mean ones, too. Okay. And uh, I don't know what the movie will be, but it'll be fun. So uh, have a nice rest of your weekend, and we will see you next time. So, uh, Mr. Skinner, oh. I've got an art question for you. Oh, yeah. If you were to create, like, a rendition of me in your comic book world, what would you do to make me more look more diabolical? Oh, you're, you're perfect how you are. I wouldn't change a thing.